Hey y'all, it's Adrian Oglesby back again with the Diva Files and the Buzz, bringing y'all the rundown for this week. Are y'all ready for the five things that is trending on the timeline this week? Are you ready? Okay, let's get into it. Okay y'all, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is Asian Doll. Now, ever since the passing of her ex-boyfriend, I will say her numbers and clout has arisen. She has definitely capitalized off of her losses and that is great to see and it's great to see her doing great in the world. She has a lot of fans, a lot of people supporting her, but just like anyone else, she has people that do not support her. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. What I wanna talk about today is the fact that she left Gucci Mane's label. So Gucci Mane's 1017 records, she left them and basically said that she wanted to be released. Um, this was like a few days ago and she's officially an independent artist. She basically says that she wants to do her own thing and go on her own. But you know, now in the music industry, all you really need is fans, people to support you a good sound and the look and you don't necessarily have to be signed to a major label to make money and to be successful so basically she had made the statement and she has announced that and i quote i feel like i owe my fans the truth so here it goes i asked gucci man to release me from 1017 a couple of days ago and he said okay i'm officially an independent artist thank you Almo records eskimo records for the opportunity but i'm no longer in my deal thank you god now she went on Twitter and she basically said that the only deal that she would sign again was with Yo Gotti. And she made two tweets. It was like the only deal I, uh, I can only see myself signing with Yo Gotti. Only deal I ever signed was Yo Gotti. Other than that, I'm cool. So the big question now is Yo Gotti, you gonna sign her? You gonna sign Asian Doll? Cause I mean, that one, you're all, oh, you're all. And I think it's pretty cool. It's Women's History Month and she's setting the standard and she's manifesting this in her life. She's basically saying, I'm gonna do my own thing until I get what I want. And that's period. Manifest that, sister girl. So everybody pray that uh, Asian dog gets out with Yo Gotti because that, that might be pretty, pretty dope. But until then, she does promise that she's just gonna be working on her own, getting her content out there and being the star that she is meant to be independently. Okay, and the second thing I want to talk about is Miss Rihanna. Once again, Women's History Month, we are shouting out all the black power women, okay? Because they doing their thing. Now, I'm not going to get on here and say that we're going to drop some new music because I would love her to, but she's not, okay? It's just, I don't know. We're just anticipating it. I don't know when it's coming, but I don't know. I ain't going to be the one to tell y'all that, okay? So, what I am here to tell y'all, though, that she is good at her empire, and she is stepping into her bag. She is deep in her Duffy, okay? Y'all, she just trademarked Finny hair. So, now, we have Finny Beauty, Finny Skin, the Savage X Finny, and now we are taking it to the hair, okay? Basically, during quarantine, that she wanted this to happen, but due to the pandemic, the legal stuff got yeah, just dragged out and dragged out, but now it's official. So we can really be looking out for some good quality hair from Rihanna? You mean I can have hair like Riri? So I guess we need to be looking out for that because that's what's coming and all the legal stuff is done, all the paperwork is due. So Finny hair is officially a thing. I'm excited. Now let's run it back to what we talked about for last week. Um, the royal family or the previous royal family, not superior royal family anymore. Anywho, Prince Harry and Meghan, once again, y'all, I got some tea. So the royal communications actually released a document saying something. This is what they said. They said, they said, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are, ve they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be loved family members. Yes. They will not be returning. Prince Harry and Meghan will not be returning. They have already made that clear, regardless of the statement and prior to that decision. This is what they want to do. They have dreams of just basically becoming financially independent with continuing to support the, the Queen, Your Majesty. Um, they do want to do that, but they want to have their own family. They want to be on their own. And like I said last week, Harry is doing what's right for him as a father and a husband. And they're going to continue to do that, regardless of what the royal palace has to say.
It's STEMI time. Okay, so I know y'all are happy to talk about this one. Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, finally, finally, finally signed the 1.9 trillion COVID relief plan that will give benefits to those unemployed, of course, and those STEMIs. The internet has been crazy with the stimulus check tweets, the STEMI songs, the TikToks, the Instagrams, all of that. But we're here to talk about money bag Joe. I'm gonna put the picture right here because this is just hilarious to me. Um, Twitter has went up since then. You know, people are getting their $1,400. Everything's going great. President Biden has literally only been in office for a little under 60 days and he already has like a big impact and he's been doing what he said he's gonna do and we're really just here for it. Um, they still are trying to push that COVID vaccine, you know what I'm saying? But all people really care about right now is their money. So, yes, semis are out, Joe is in, money bag Joe is the trend, and that's gonna get into our last topic, which is Ariana Fletcher. Ariana Fletcher just made the cover of Vogue. The cover of Vogue. Ariana Fletcher is in Vogue. Now, I am an Ari fan, so, you know, I love this for her. But a lot of people have uh, have a lot to say because it's like, they don't believe that Ari does anything, but I'm just going to break it down to you. And, um, yeah, we're going to break it down. Over quarantine is when Ari really rised. Ari was going crazy with her pictures, media, and helping Tay out um helping him and like she was taking pictures he was doing her hair they really was going viral they was making tiktoks instagram they were taking over twitter and then she got with money bag yo and he's just been helping her out just motivating her supporting her he actually made a very supportive tweet was like forget them haters i'm proud of you baby vogue is just the start which is so true because as a model she has really i'm not gonna say taken over social media but she's really capitalized off of it and she's really been doing her thing so congratulations are definitely in order last but not least so ariana fletcher and money bag yo because they are so a very supportive couple and their love is obviously very strong because they don't care about what y'all have to say and y'all may already mad i will say that y'all did make her mad because she has basically stated that she will not be telling her business no more on social media and she will not be going on live to talk to y'all about her business because it's none of y'all business and all y'all want to do is bring negative comments and hate see now we got the tea taken away now we got the tea taken away because y'all want to be some haters but congratulations to ari and congratulations to all the people out there with them stingy checks you feel me <laughs> That is all for today. Those are little five little things I was sharing this week for the little rundown that I wanted to talk to y'all about. And I appreciate y'all once again for tapping in with the Diva Files and supporting everything that we do. Once again, I'm Adrian Oglesby, a Central State University senior, and I will be back soon. See ya.